Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nitin Garg and this is the fourth part of my Postman blog series. In this part, I'm going to talk about what is variable in the Postman and how you can create variables in the Postman tool. So let's get started. Guys, if you are really interested to this topic, please stick to the end of this video. This is really helpful if you are using the Postman in your day-to-day -day life for testing the APIs. And also, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Before we dive into the Postman tool, let's first understand what is variable in a Postman. Variables are nothing but a way to store the value in the form of key value pair. For example, here URL is the key, apidemo.com is the value. Similarly, username is a key, XYZ is the value of that key. Same as password is a key, ABC is a value of a password. I believe you understand the definition of a variables in a Postman. Now, let's see what is the purpose of variables in a Postman. To understand the purpose of variables in a Postman, let's see this use case. I have an API which give me the list of users but i wanted to test this api in all of my instances which is dev stage and prod the only difference here is the api domain url for dev the api domain url is dev.apidemo.com for stage the api domain url is stage.apidemo.com for prod prod.apidemo.com so to test this using the postman i have Two options. Either I can create three different set of requests, one for each, one for dev, one for stage and one for prod and test individually or I can create a variable which is called as URL and use that variable to test all these requests. So let's dive in into the Postman tool and see how we can create the variable in Postman. When you are defining a variable in the Postman, you can define in three ways. One, you can define the variable at a collection level. Second, you can define the variable at a environment level. And the third way of defining a variable is at a global level. I'll share my perspective on when to define variable at a global level, at an environment level and a collection level, but it's totally up to you how you wanted to define these variable at what level. Let's first define the variable at a collection level. To define the variable at a collection level, select the collection tab, select the collection for which you wanted to add the variables. Here in my case, I'm selecting the demo project, which is the collection of all the employee APIs. Navigate to the variable tab define the variable name, define the initial value and define the current value. Before defining the variable, you have to first understand what variable you need to define. So let's understand what variable we need to define in this case. Here I have five API request URL, which is get all employee, create a new employee, update an employee, delete employee and get employee by ID. The common thing in all these API requests is the URL. So instead of repeating this URL in each and every request, what we can do, we can define a variable called as base URL and then we'll use that variable in all of these requests. Let's go ahead and create the variable called as base URL. And then we are going to replace this hard coded URL with our variable name. So to create the variable, again, I'm going to select the project, which is the demo project, and that is a collection. And then I will go to the variable section. Here I will add a variable name, which is a key. Then I can define the initial value, which is the URL. And then I need to define the current value. Now I have defined the variable. So it's time to replace this hard coded URL and use the 
variable to use the variable in the postman you just need to use the double curly brackets and then define the variable name so in this case the variable name is base url let's replace the other api request as well Let's see this. Save this as well. Once you save the variables, and if you go to the API request where you have used the variable and over, you can see the initial value and the current value and the scope. So scope is the current collection. Now let's see if that if this variable is working. So if I hit this, yeah, here you can see the API response is success, and it gives me the response of a employee list. If I go to the console, here you can see the request is get dummy rest API example dot com, which is the value of the variable you have seen how creating a variable will help to eliminate the same hard coded value into the multiple api request now let's go ahead and create the environment variable before going and creating the environment variable i wanted to first explain you the difference between the initial value and the current value whenever we are creating a postman variable postman will always use the current value of any variable okay but what is the use case to have a different value in initial value and the current value i'll explain if you remember this slide we have three instances dev stage and prod and we have defined the variable called base url which stores the url of the instance here the current value and the initial value is pointing to dev now what if if i use the same collection variable but i need to test the stage and prod how can i do that i can able to do it by updating the current value let's see how so if i need to test the stage instance what i need to do i need to update the current value of a variable base url and point to the stage instance so if i just update the current value and set the url which is the stage instance url and if i go to the any of the api and hover over the variable you can see the initial value is still saying it is to the domain dev domain url but the current value is stage now if i hit the send it gives me a url because that stage instance url does not exist but here you can see the when postman send the request it uses the current value similarly if i go back again and point to prod save and if i go back again hover over you can see the current value of this variable is prod dash dummy dot rest api example dot com and if i click on send you can see it is now using the current value which is pointing to the production instance so if you are using the collection variable and trying to test every time dev stage and production like a different instances you always need to come and update the current value based on the environment that you are testing with so in order to avoid this what we can do we can create an environment variable and set the initial value and the current value depending on the environment so that 
we do not need to update the every time this current value based on the environment that we are testing with i'll show you how you can update the environment variable to define the environment variable select the environment if you have, don't have any environment defined then you have this link which is called create new environment you can give the name of the environment so in my case this is the first environment that i'm going to create and i call this as dev and then i can put a variable name i need to define the type whether my type is default or secret secret you can use when you are using like a variable for your password or secret key otherwise you can keep it as default the initial value i can copy it from here select f and i will also change the current value and save if i want to create more environment then i can keep create a new environment and i give the name i can use the same variable name i'll put the initial value as a base value and then the current value because this is a stage instance so i need to select stage value and then if i wanted to create another instance which is a production so i named as prod use the same variable sorry keep it default the initial value would be same value and the current value is going to be prod now i have created three instances dev stage and prod so and also the current value i have updated based on the environment that it is pointing to so let's take an example if i wanted to test into the dev instance let me first update the variable name because i defined in a different key now here it is showing you unresolved because i have not selected any environment so if you want to test it based on the environment you need to select the environment that you are testing with so for example first i'm testing with dev i can select the dev and when i hover over i can see the initial value as well as current value now it runs successfully for example if i wanted to test it into the stage instance you can now see the current value is http stage dot stage dash dummy dot rest api example dot com and when i hit send it is using the value of the variable which is pointing to the stage instance and same if i wanted to test it into the production i can select the prod instance and here the api value is pointing to prod so in this way if i am using an environment variable i do not need to go and update the current value every time if i wanted to switch between the environment this will help you if you have a environment specific variable so you have a common set of variable for example url username password and so on but the value is being changed based on the instance so better you can create the environment variable and then you can switch the environment through this drop down depending on the environment that you are using for testing so far we have defined the variable at a collection level and the environment level if we need to define the variable at a global level we can do that by selecting the environment tab and then click on the globals when you click on the globals you have to define the variable name in the same way that you have defined for environment variable you have to select the type whether it is uh, secret or default 
and then you also have to define the initial value and the current value. The only difference between the environment variable and a global variable, global variable will available across the workspace. So if you have a workspace in which you have multiple API collection and you have defined the global variable, all the API collection and the API inside those collection can able to access that global variable. I am hoping by now you are able to understand what is variable in the postman, how to define the variable in the postman at a collection level, global level and the environment level. If you like this video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.